jumping right up right up by the cairn tonight with uh, my mate Dan and his little boy Riley smashed it a few a few miles with all the kit tents and stuff like and perched ourselves right up on the top of the air see if we can spot this aurora that's uh, about it was about last night but I couldn't get out last night but they reckon it's going to be visible again tonight so we shall see we come out for the night a few beers and a, and a chill out I say I don't think I won't be doing too much filming like because it's one of them isn't it sociable like it's a bit unsociable isn't it once in a lifetime thing in it, you don't really get to see it in, in the UK like. Especially down south anyway. Maybe Scotland right now and again, but yeah, watching the sunrise uh, sunset now, sunrise in the morning and hopefully get a nice aurora. So we've got a pitch lit. Chilling out there for the night. Hopefully we'll see something or we shall see. Sun's trying to pop up now. Bright pink. Pretty calm night to be fair. Woke up a bit rough like that. Chest infection or something. 
worth it for the sunrise though. If you can see on the camera, like, but God, that sun's like bright pink. Let's go brew a coffee now. <coughs> I didn't see no aurora last night. It was annoying, I didn't know anything about it like until I jumped on Instagram like and saw everyone's photos. I was like, oh gutting. Spent all day up in the bloody woods on, on my bush shelter and I didn't know nothing about it. It said it was visible again last night, but I don't think I never saw it. Stayed up till gone midnight light looking. Clouded over. I just took the dog to go have a wee and chill out. Little morning walk. He's back in the tent. <laughs> Oh shit.